Let's take a few moments and talk about how to use the Womble DVD converting software. Locate on your desktop the icon that looks like a Rubik's Cube. It says Womble. Here it is on my desktop. I'm going to click on it twice. Double click. Now what's going to open up is called the MPEG Video Wizard DVD. Now you will hear us refer to it as Womble because that's the parent company that developed the software. Either way, when we say Womble, we are referring to the MPEG Video Wizard DVD. Now what we need to do is we need to import the files from our DVD into the Video Wizard. We do this by taking our finished DVD that we just finished editing, finalizing the DVD recorder, and put it in the computer's DVD drive. Now we do this after we open up the Womble editing software. Since we've done that, we'll go ahead and put the DVD in the computer's DVD drive. The DVD that I'm using in this demonstration is only four minutes long. If your program is 30 minutes, an hour, or two hours, it may take a little longer for the computer to scan your DVD and gather all the information. This shouldn't take long at all, and here it is. Now one of two things is going to happen. Either the DVD is going to open up here in a little white window and ask you what you want to do with it, or you're going to get the Windows Media Player, which is what we got here. So all we have to do is come up here in the upper right-hand corner of either window and close it. We're not going to use that right now. Instead, we need to import the files from the DVD into Womble or the MPEG Video Wizard DVD. To do this, come over here in your project window. Now there's two projects. You have a project tab, project window. We're working in the window, so right up here at the top. And just down and to the right of the word project here, you have a little folder that's opening up. You see it right there when I drag the mouse over it, and you see the word import and items come up. Import items. That's what we're going to do. We're going to import the files. We click on it once, a single click. Now it's opened up our DVD. It says VTS. VTS files are the files that make up your DVD. Video TS are the menu files. The menu is what first pops up on your screen when you put a DVD in a DVD recorder or a DVD player. We only need the VTS files. We know the difference here because it has numbers attached to them. This is DVD, like I said, it's only four minutes. So it only has one VTS file. If your program is 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, multiple v VTS files will make up your program. Now here, I only have to click once and hit open to bring my file in. However, if you have multiple VTS files, and you will know because it will say like 011, 012, 013, and so on, you'll hold down the control key on your keyboard and select all of the VTS files and then hit open. So we'll hit open now. And there it is. If you have multiple files, it'll take a few seconds, maybe even a minute, so be patient. We have VTS underscore 01 underscore 1. So now we're going to take this file and we're going to drag it down into our timeline. And now you can see you have a little movie camera down here in your timeline. Drag the file right next to it. Now if I want to see what this looks like, I can come up here to my output window. And when I hit play, it's going to show me what's in my timeline. So we have our Dayton Holiday Festival promo in here. And we can actually come down here. If you want to scroll through it, you can grab this and move it across, holding down the left mouse button. And you could scan across. You can do the same thing up here. If you want to magnify your timeline so you can have a little bit more control over it, see the details a little bit more, you can use the plus, the zoom in, or minus the zoom out. Now what we're going to do is export our file to the MPEG video library. You come up here to the top, and I'm counting one, two, three, four, five over. It says export. You can see it kind of flashing yellow when I move the mouse over it. It looks like an audio cassette. So we click once, single click. 
Ah, uh, now our export window opens up. And you have four tabs. Try to make a habit of working from left to right each time. It's gonna make it easy for you to make sure that you've remembered all your steps that you need to complete in order to convert your file. So we come down to MPEG file separate. We go across the window here and you have a little square with some dots in it. The MPEG file separate folder, click this once. Ah, save MPEG file to the MPEG folder. We're going to come down here and we're going to name this Womble Test. If you notice here, I capitalized the first letter of each word. This makes it easy for Melissa, our program director, to read. Now, if you're doing a series program, you might want to touch base with Melissa and see how you want to coordinate this. For example, we see Morningstar July 7th. Well, Morningstar Church has a weekly time slot. In that case, they simply called the program Morningstar and then the air date July 7th. No air dates. This one has a hyphen in it, but try to avoid things like that. No hyphens or periods or dots or dashes, no spaces. Keep it simple. Morningstar July 7th. And keep in mind on the program logs, there's not a whole lot of, a lot of space to be able to write this information in. So keep it simple. We have Womble test in. We're going into the MPEG folder and we hit save. There it is. Womble test dot MPEG. That was in a general tab. Now move over to the right one and we have video. We want it to be an MPEG2 file. MPEG2. That's important. MPEG1, we can play back, but you probably won't get any sound when it's seen on the air. Come up here to audio. It's the next tab over. Layer 2. So you need MPEG2 in video and layer 2 in audio. Now these should never be changed. However, make a habit of going back through here, starting at general and working your way across just to double check. The last tab is monitor. Monitor allows you to watch the DVD being converted. We come over here and we hit start. Now you can see it's moving through pretty quick here. This four minute DVD will probably take less than a minute. We're moving ahead here a little bit so that you can uh, see what we have to do next once this file is complete. See we're up to 90%. And once it's finished, the word done will appear down here in the bottom half of the export window. And there it is, done and done. And there is the length of our program, three minutes and 58 seconds. And that's the time that you'll write down on your sheet when you turn it into Melissa. Now, come up here to the very top. See the words MPEG Video Wizard DVD? Go to the right, instead of Xing out, just come over here to the left of it and hit minimize. We can get that out of our way. Now we have this little stack of colorful falling bricks. This icon is the MPEG folder. We double click on that. Always go back and double check your show to make sure it converted properly. And here's our show, Womble Test. If I double click on it, There it is. Program is playing back fine. We have sound. And then what you want to do is come down here where it says seek. Notice where I'm circling down here. You see this little, little thing moving across, creeping across the bottom of the screen. Hold down the left mouse button and kind of scroll then, across. And Sounds of the Season will also feature um, low video to make sure and adults are $2. And they can watch a fun family holiday movie three, such as eight, Elf, A Great. Christmas Story. We're all set. We can X out out of the MPEG folder. And we can X out out of Womble. No, you don't need to save the changes because someone else is going to have another program that they're going to Womble after you're done. And you're finished.